In our top story, seven people have been arrested after a standoff between police and supporters of Etequinime Zandile Gumede. In Durban this morning, uh, this is where it all happened. The suspects have been charged with public violence. A journalist with independent media was also arrested and charged with common assault. A case against him was opened by Metro Police Officer and he's alleged to have assaulted. He has since been released. Police used a stun, as used stun grenades and fired rubber bullets to disperse the crowd uh, that uh, were blockading the street outside City Hall. They were demanding that Gumede return to work. This despite ANC leaders in the province yesterday announcing that her leave had been extended. Gumeda took a leave of absence after being charged with fraud and corruption relating to a 208 million rand Durban solid waste removal tender. This is a heavy police presence outside City Hall. Several municipal offices remain closed after workers were forced out this morning. Right, so let's uh, now get a, an update on the situation in Durban, particularly in the central part of the city. Our reporter Ayanda Mplongo is on the scene. Ayanda, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, it's been quite a day there. I suppose the authorities expected it after the announcement yesterday that uh, the uh, embattled Etiquini mayor was not going to be coming back to work. Yeah, it certainly has been a very busy day uh, from the early hours of this morning, uh, Peter, when um, the supporters of Eteguini uh, Mayor Mamzandile Gumede, as, you would report, as we've been constantly reporting throughout the day, starting off this morning outside uh, City Hall, where they were expecting her to return uh, to uh, her office, um, despite, of course, the announcement yesterday by party leaders that her leave had been extended. And uh, these supporters saying uh, that their ANC branch members who had not um, had any uh, discussion with the party leaders and that decision had not been communicated uh, to them and as so far as they were aware and what they had expected was that the mayor was to return uh, to her duties uh, today. That wasn't the case and of course ending up in the commotion and the standoff uh, with uh, police. So there after um, the city hall and after police uh, dispersing the crowds and arresting the uh, seven uh, protesters they then moved to the ANC offices where they wanted to deliver a message that they now uh, wanted to um, uh, communicate uh, this matter or have the matter be dealt with by the party's national office, specifically ANC Secretary uh, General Ace Mahashule, that they no longer have faith in the leadership of the ANC here in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. And while that, Peter, was uh, taking place, of course, the seven were also expected to appear at the Durban Magistrate Court at around 2 p.m. The supporters then saying they'd negotiated with the police and were making their way uh, to the court when uh, police again uh, as they're accusing use forced uh, use force uh, uh, throwing uh, rubber bullets and stun grenades at uh, the protesters uh, protesters preventing them from making their way uh, to the Durban Magistrates Court where they wanted uh, to stand outside and await uh, a decision whether or not the seven were going to be uh, granted bail or whether they're going to spend uh, the, the night uh, in uh, uh, behind bars. So it has certainly, Peter, been a long, long day. We are now at Google Mini Park where the supporters were going to uh, gather here and get a last uh, minute brief and as they were making their way from the court to uh, the park where we are where their buses were waiting for them another confrontation again between them and the police uh, resulting in the police arresting a further 15 but i can tell you that there has been negotiation between the leaders um, of uh, the supporters and the police and those uh, 15 uh, uh, last suspects that have been arrested have uh, been uh, released by the police it is a calm situation now uh, many of them are saying that they are now uh, going uh, home but uh, Peter a lot that still is going to be in discussion we still haven't yet got an update we're told that the seven that appeared in court were released we have not seen them as yet and the leaders of uh, the uh, Zandila Kometa supporters are now going to be meeting uh, on a way forward so well, it is calm now but certainly there's still a lot uh, in terms of meetings and discussions following 
regarding the incidents that took place today that the ANC leadership in the, in, in the province is going to be have uh, uh, to, to deal with. Uh, Ayanda, these uh, leaders of uh, the uh, uh, Gomeda faction or the ones that are supporting uh, the embattled uh, mayor, how high up the ANC structures are they? Are these ordinary members that have come together supporting who they see as their leader or are they quite senior people within the party in the province? The leaders that we're speaking about uh, represent the branches. Uh, so these are councillors, um, uh, Etiguin municipality councillors who have been supporting uh, the mayor as well as the leaders in the branches, the branch chairpersons and the secretary. So they are low level leaders representing the branches and those that are here would say that uh, uh, quite a, high, a number of branches here in Etiguin support uh, the uh, mayor and they are amongst those that have been calling for the mayor to uh, be uh, reinstated. Of course, as we know, Peter, it's not just a matter around the mayor that they have uh, been challenging with the ANC leadership. It's also, of course, uh, the um, ANC regional leadership, which was disbanded, and a, a task team was then uh, put in place to uh, oversee the process as this region must go to a conference uh, in August. And so these are the uh, branch chairpersons and the secretaries from the branches that have been leading uh, these uh, these supporters. All right, Ayanda, we're going to leave it there. Thanks very much indeed. That's our reporter, Ayanda Mflongo, who's uh, been uh, watching events unfold uh, in central Durban today. Uh, supporters of embattled Mayor uh, Zandere Gumede, whose uh, uh, leave of absence has been extended by the provincial ANC executive there. Uh, of course, she's facing some serious uh, charges relating to a 208 million rand tender process. And uh, to say that things remain remain tense, I think perhaps is uh, to tell the story there.